I'll teach you how to create a spiral chart using a donut chart now. So first we need to extract these values. Go to this small plus sign, drag it and drag this down. Okay, we need to create a target point for all these values. So what we can do, we can use the maximum of these values. We just multiply it by 1.25. So this is equal to max and we select from here to here and we close the brackets. We multiply this by 1.25. So this is a target for everybody, 145. So we want to check of this 145, the score of each person. So here we'll come to equal to, we click on this, and I can simply press F4 to make this reference absolute. Minus, I press this one and I press enter. Then I drag it down. This is a faster way to achieve this. I've created a target point for everybody. So out of the 145, this person scored 116. What is remaining is 29. This other person scored 69. What is remaining is 78. For others, we can do it one after the other. So we come to this cell. It's equal to this minus this to give us 29. Equal to, we still use that target point minus the actual number. Equal to this minus this equal to this minus this equal to this minus this we have the data points we want to use select the data go to insert go to your pie charts and then select a donut chart now with the donut chart selected go to your menu in chart design go to select data and then switch the row to the column and column to row so switch row column and then say okay now we have this let's increase the donut chart right click anywhere on the donut chart then go to format data series now in the format data series section the donut hole size we'll just increase it Okay, so we come here, we'll prepare it for dashboard, remove charts, type 2. So that means the highly dissatisfied is the up one, then the average is the inner one. We want to make the other way around. Let the higher number go on top and the smaller number come inside. So what we do, we just change the sort order. Right click here and then change the sort order from smallest to largest. Good. So this is what we want. Average performance is this blue one then that way it goes round. Okay, in the full video, I'll show you how to now change the color. So this will appear something like this. This is what we have here. We'll change that to become something like this. Okay, so this is based on, rename this to satisfaction. So right click and then change the color to uh, this blue. Then the next one is what we have by job satisfaction. So we copy this and we'll come to the dashboard. And we turn off the legend. Right click and we say no outline. I will also click here and we say no field. So we have this, reduce the size to fit into the space provided. So we remove all the white outline, no outline, click on the second one, no outline, okay, no outline. By the end of this entire course, you will be able to build this dashboard. We can filter this data to check of the 500 staff, 200 of them female and 82 left. Nutrition rate of 41.0, which is higher compared to the average of 30.8. Then we can slice it also by the male, total of 330, 81 left, making it an attrition rate of 24.5. So we can say in this business, the rate at which female staff live is higher compared to the rate at which 
male staff leave. That's one. We we'll also look at based on job role. We have countant 41, those are left five, making it an attrition rate of 12.2, which is low compared to the general attrition rate of 30.8. Specialists have 51.7, which is the highest. This gives us an overview of the projects you will be working on in this class. Let's get into the content for this section. No outline. And we we'll pick on all of them and we say no outline. Then we we'll change these colors, these orange colors, click it twice, change it to the color of the background. That color. Color of the background. Remember, you need to click it twice to activate it. Follow the background. Okay. So let's pick the first color. Let's give it the color purple. Let's pick the second color. Let's give it the color. blue. Let's pick the third color. Let's give it a color. This. Let's pick the fourth color. Let's give it a color green. And we can pick the fifth one. Let's give it a color orange. Okay. So these are the five colors. And we bring this here. So we'll call this attrition by satisfaction rating. Hold this two and then align it towards the left. Remember to save your work. 